Welcome back. Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. I'm Narkov. Turns out I can interact with this offspring here, and I actually need to for the main quest with Deke here. I should let Deke know about the newborn festival. So, we'll make sure we do that. I'm glad we did. I've also got the intention to go speak with Sebastian in the Undercroft. Now, I've also changed some settings here. And I'm hoping that it improves the quality once again, because in that last episode, I looked back through it, and particularly that troll fight was very, very glitchy. Did not look great, in my opinion. Uh, it's kind of unfortunate. So, we might have to continue to do some messing around with the settings to try and find an optimal spot. But I'll keep an eye on it, and we'll just do that. Uh, speak to Deke. Hello, Deke. You'll be pleased to know that a little Thestral was born. How wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. Such misunderstood beasts. I'm sorry that we can both see Thestrals, Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts. But sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. Deke is to blame. What do you mean, to blame? Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix. The rarest a of phoenix, all beasts eh? that master had spotted high on a cliff. The phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. Deke begged master to leave her be. When Deke hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. As Deke punished himself, master grew angrier and angrier and in his frustration, cast at the regal bird. Deke suspects the phoenix was protecting eggs when it swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. Deke stayed on that cliffside for days, punishing himself before Tobbs found him. I don't think he's gonna agree with me. It sounds to me as if your master got what he deserved. Deke never wanted anyone to get hurt. Not the Phoenix, not Tobbs, and not even Master. Deke often wonders what became of that Phoenix. It's probably fine, he's a Deke Phoenix. Is fortunate to be at Hogwarts now, helping I'm gonna the go rescue get him. beasts. Perhaps Deke can make amends for what came before. Yeah, you're doing a great job. Right. I'm gonna take a quick trip through Hogwarts. It's not very common that we run through the halls these days. <laughs> uh, not sure if we're in there. Can I, can I try it? I'm trying to try it. I kind of did it, but I kind of just flew the whole way down. Does that count? It's not quite the same thing, but... I tried. Oh, I have one of these here still? God damn. I don't even have Accio mapped. Um... Instead of Depulso. Where is it? Accio! Have a moment of your time. Which house are you? You're a Ravenclaw too, alright. Let's talk. Can I help you? I believe you can. I'm Sophronia, by the way. And I need help from someone who's at least a fifth year. Are you familiar with Herodiana Byrne? <laughs> Don't answer that. Of course you're not. No one seems to know of her but me. Okay. She's only the single greatest Depulso master of all time. <laughs> I just Even unmapped it. You're gonna make me use it. Oh my god. How interesting. I'm amazed I've never heard of her. It's a travesty she's not more well known. I often read about great witches in my limited free time. There are many. Whilst reading about her, I learned that she built a secret to Pulso training room here at Hogwarts. But in typical clever Herodiana fashion, one cannot access it unless one knows to Pulso, which of course, third years aren't taught. And you're a third year, so... Quick one, aren't you? 
According to what I've read, her signature outfit may still be there. I would love to see it. Would you get Herodiana's signature outfit and show it to me? Okay. If you tell me where to go, I'll see what I can do about it. Simply go to the Hall of Herodiana. It's at the base of the Defense Against the Dark Arts Tower. There, you'll find a series of Depulso puzzles, concealing pieces of Herodiana's ensemble. Very well. I shall let you know if I find anything. Doesn't sound awful, to be I honest, but it's not what we're doing right now. Thing. We see a side quest we don't have like that. I'm going to be picking them up, though. Because I would like to do a lot of them. <clears throat> the list is starting to build, though. I will admit. What do we have in here? Ooh. Billy Wig Hive Spellcraft. That's cool. Okay. Perhaps I'll make myself a copy. Off to the Undercroft. <laughs> Suppose I should look for that seat. Hello, were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map, to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff scheme. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Yeah, I'll take it. Following a Hogwarts treasure map? Count me in. Wonderful! Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Okay, thanks Very for well. the free map. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. Okay, so this... What? You need to use Accio on the lever above the portrait that looks like that. Okay. He was holding a treasure map, but you can see like X marks the spot on it. It's kind of funny. It's not what we're doing right now though. We're on our way to the Undercroft. Nothing can stop us. Only slow us down. <coughs> I need to keep going down. Okay, yeah. Wait a second. Ah, a rhinoceros skeleton. I'm on the right track. I don't want to be, but I am. That's cool. What are you doing? Was that thing? Don't look at me. Duncan owes Abominous. his reputation to you. Be sure that we're, uh... I can't believe you found that old copy. Yeah. You must have just come from here, huh?
You'll never believe what I've learned. Tell me now. What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the Scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. I don't. We did what we had to. It was hard to do, but casting Crucio was our only option. And I'm glad we did it, because in the spellbook I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. Yeah, he'd freak out. He wouldn't understand. He'd be pretty upset. I see no reason to involve Ominous. I'm glad you agree. When I know more, I shall send an owl. And don't feel sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. Agreed. I Agreed. Decide what's for my own good. What? Ominous. We were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. Bombarda! I am not letting this go. It's okay, Ominous. I'm gonna have to talk you down, but it's okay. Ominous, Sebastian meant well. I know what I heard. You knew I wouldn't agree with this. Going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. Oh. Wow. Poor Anne and Sebastian. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I practically lost Anne. I can't lose Sebastian too. Please avoid anything to do with that spell book. Sorry, bro. Those references in the book seem promising. Everything to do with Salazar Slytherin seems promising until it's too late. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further. But if you think he might, please let me know. Um, I think he might. It would mean a lot. I'm, well, I'm telling you right now, there's no way in hell anything is going to stop him from using that book to save his sister. You understand me? feel like you're not hearing me right now. Like, I know you're not, you're blind, but you're not deaf. Yeah, whatever. I tried. I tried. You waiting for me, bro? Where are we going? You walk too slow, man. I'm not doing this. Oh, you. I haven't been here. Quite some time, I suppose. Surprise! Protego. Protego. It's the uh, spell for the protagonist. Was oh, that Jeeves? Peeves? Jeeves. Ask Peeves. All right, whatever you say. So next, we are going to do, got lots of stuff here. The main thing is the Poppy Sweeting quest. We're gonna hold out on that for a little bit until we can get some of these easier ones done. Such as,
We could probably do both of these without leaving this area, so we should probably go back inside the Defense Against the Dark Arts Tower, which is right where we were. And we should... survive the reign of this headmaster. I think we should have a moon calf in charge. <laughs> okay. Should check out some of these... areas. The bridge outside. What the hell? I keep things clean as a whistle, but it's oh, what's that vile stench? Oh, what is that portrait doing? Oh, the humiliation. What is happening? Not ideal, I'll tell you that. Have I never been here? Definitely isn't where it was telling me to go, but I've never been in here. Huh. Okay. Let's go find that portrait. This is not where we were supposed to be. Why is it like this in this hallway? I don't want to know the lore. Rebellio. Really don't. Pungent, pungent, uh, pungent passage. This passage is relatively nondescript as far as passages go. However, the mishandling of a cropped of nim nimbleus nimbletonia in the 16th century, the accompanying tsunami of stink sap, left it with a rancid odor that even the strongest scouring charm cannot seem to eradicate. Gross. So that would mean that I stink now too, right? Duncan owes his reputation to you. Dude. Don't be creepy. Okay. So, can I look at... piece of information once more, please? Yes? Map? Yes. No, this is the floating candles one. I want Arthur's map. Okay. Down the stairs. That's annoying, because we did that. Oh, out the courtyard. Dragon facing away from a door behind a tree. Accio. Okay. We do go down here. Straight out the courtyard. Like I was doing. Get Accio prepared. We see dragon facing this way. Tree. Door behind it. the fountain. I'm getting closer. And there is a large portrait somewhere in here. Going through another set of doors seems wrong. So let's go. The stairwell looks promising. Yeah, but which direction, bro? Up or down? I'm gonna go down. I've definitely been down here before. This is what goes down to the map chamber. Ah, oh, okay. What's up, what's up? Let's try up. Stairwell looks promising, right? Up the stairwell, that's it right there. This looks like the portrait from the map. And where's the treasure? Oh, that's very, very cool. Uh -huh. There was a doorway hidden within the portrait. Yeah, that's very, very cool. I like that a lot. I wonder what came of Arthur's search. Oh, that's so nice. Show me that. I guess we have to go talk to Arthur now about it. Yeah, we're going to wear that. I like that a lot. <clears throat> I suppose we should track the quest if it's still there. See if Cash in the Castle returned to Arthur yet. 
assuming he's where he was, but still. Well, that's a really bad idea. How did I not take more damage than that? It was actually a really good idea then. <laughs> Are there? Arrest the momentum. All right, try to save you, bro. Nothing to do about it. This is the fastest way back to Arthur. This seems ridiculous. Maybe he is in a different location this time. No, still against the in the defense against the Dark Arts Tower. Still legitimately just been the fastest way over here. Something so peaceful. Find anything yet? Hello, Arthur. Okay, her Thought face out of here. You might like to know that my map led to a doorway hidden within a portrait. Oh, how clever! Mine led to the boathouse. Barely found the treasure before I saw the headmaster coming. He shooed me out of there, but not before I got a few galleons richer. Nice. What did you find? I found what I believe is an authentic historian's uniform. I'm wearing oh, it. Oh, that's lucky. Seems as though we both had success. Glad I enlisted you to join me. Well, on to the next Hogwarts mystery. We did it! A quick rummage round Weasley's office might yield anything interesting. Rummage around Weasley's office, really? So. Let's track this quest. And then we'll do the cabbage one, I think, as well, while we're out there. But I think we should. I mean, maybe we don't. So I don't remember if I actually picked one up. I sure did. Should have a flu powder is what I was going to say. And we do. Now we're going to teleport on over there. And tell her that we killed the frame destroying troll. It's a shame. I actually genuinely enjoyed that fight. When I saw how how awful it was to hmm. seems a pleasant enough to watch. <laughs> you could hear me like healing and stuff without seeing what I did. It's done, Alexandra. I took care of him. My troll? What? Oh, I don't know what to say. Thank you. I wish things could have turned out differently for him. Any plan you had to train that thing was doomed. He tried to kill me the entire time. Goodness. I'm glad you're all right. You're very brave. People in the Hamlet had already crafted a moniker for whoever eventually defeated my... I mean, that troll. It was troll something or other. Troll Whisperer. Whisperer? Yes, that was it. I suppose it's your title now. I need some time on my own. But truly... Thank you for what you did. No problem. We are Troll Whisperer. The Troll Whisperer. Seems fitting. Doesn't it? I thought so too. There's a Merlin trial in the middle of the city. How hard can it be? Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. I am now realizing that it could be very cryptic, because I have no idea what they expect of me. Incendio. At all. I don't see anything to do with the Merlin trial. I have technically started this one, and I am about to walk away from it. Huh. Okay. Maybe I'll figure it out. Did you deliver out. the Chinese chomping cabbages to my friend Bernard yet? Um, no. I did not. I was actually going to do that just now. 
believe it or not. Kidnapped cabbage. Really that far away? Jeez. Rebellion. Jeez, wow, that's a lot of stuff in there. Like searching the skies. <clears throat> oh, they come up to me. I may drop there. The crate of Chinese chomping cabbages is somewhere in this camp. Hello, everybody. It's finally nice to finally meet you. How is your day? Flip, no, Confringo. That's illegal. As a matter of fact, how dare you? You're done. That ought to warm you up. Incendio. What have you done? Alright, let's get real. Do to him. What did I do to him? I think that's the exclusion one. Jeez, bro. Can I learn that? That's pretty sick. I did try. I accidentally floated a box in the middle of the fight. Revelio. Okay, I'm trying to open the chest with the deal. It's disarming too. Incendio. What did I get hit by? Oh yes, I'm here to retrieve cabbages. I did forget. Rebellion. These cabbages here? That's one crate in hand. I only need one more. Gotcha. Could be in a new location as well. Let's go ahead and I'll do a Merlin trial when I see one. Do a Merlin trial. I believe we can do this one.
This is the Reparo one, okay. Let's go ahead and get Reparo out. Reparo. That one. What the hell? Hello, Hamora. They're both just up. Why not? It just doesn't make any sense, does it? I already repaired Revelio. that one. Where's the last one I gotta repair? Oh. No, you don't. Could have actually got a food for there. There's an actual page here. Revelio. Okay, where's the last Reparo spot? Oh, I hate getting stuck on twigs. Got to be up the mountain or something, right? Yeah, there we go. Really? Incendio. Reparo. These Merlin trials won't get the best of me. They might. <laughs> They're a little annoying. Next one, next crate, over the mountain. That's not allowed. What is the normal way? I don't know, but we're going to travel to Felgroff because this mountain is going to make me very angry if we have to go right alongside it the whole time. Who lives here? Just over here, eh? Hey? I can see why Feldcroft needs help. Ranrock's loyalists are hiding out near Feldcroft. They must have the other kind of Chinese trading capital. That was meant for me? Not quite. Loyalist assassin. Expelliarmus. That's the student who released Oak. That student defeated our encampment in the tower. Expelliarmus. You've one less follower, Ranrock. Just one? Destruction too, eh? That's all the crates of Chinese chomp and cabbages. I'd better go and see Mr. Oh wait, in Feldcroft? Yeah, we're already here. Feldcroft. Hello there. Do you have a special delivery for my dear? Hello, Mr. Undi. I do have the special delivery, Eddie actually. Yes, he told me to expect <clears throat> you. Do you have to expect me specifically? You recognize me and everything? Yes. I have them right here. 
Marvelous. This will go a long way towards protecting the hamlet from Ranrock's loyalists. The same foul curs who, I'm willing to guess, intercepted them in the first place. Along with Rookwood's lot. Feldcroft owes a debt of gratitude to you and Eddie. Thank you for your help. May I see your words? You sail? At last, some reinforcements. Hopefully, this is enough to thwart the goblins. Not interested, but would you be interested in some glasses and a I scarf? To do business with you. Clearly. Have I mentioned you're welcome to stop by any time? All right. So, I mean, we've been doing some side quests. We picked up a new spell. Pretty happy with what where we're at. We could go do the Hall of Herodonia and Herodiana. Diana. We could go to other parts of the castle and probably pick up even more side quests. And we could do side quests for ages. I would like to get a move on with the story quest. So when we return in the next episode, we will be doing Fire and Vice with Poppy Sweeting. I'm personally looking forward to that. Let's take a look at the challenge that we unlocked, whatever it is. We got this here, the Highland Explorer cap. Honestly, not that excited about that cap. But, that's okay. Oh, we got a point to spend as well, and we're about to get another one. I keep spending them, like, almost a whole level late. Like, right before we level, I spend the last one. Um, let's see. Pendo curses enemies. Let's not do a dark arts for this one. Let's look into spells. What does the Bombarda one do? Bombarda makes the explosive explosion bigger. And Fringo sends out heat seeking missiles, kind of. Yeah. What? Depulso. Depulso is everybody around you at the same time. None of those really stand out to me as something I want. In here, though, this stuff's really useful. Dodging the unblockable magic will give me ancient magic. That's pretty huge. Increase the range of Revelio. That's also pretty huge. Enemies stunned longer. More health from Wigan Weld. That's starting to become an issue. Stupefy deals damage. Not really crazy about that. Even this one, the throw and catch enemy disarmed enemy weapons. I'm not crazy about that one, but we might get it eventually. I think we're going to do this one. This is the, when we get the red magic circle around our head, then we can't block it. When we dodge it, it's going to give us ancient meter now. Which it did not before. But, that is going to do it for me today. Thank you very much for joining me once again. Um, enjoy the rest of your day. Have a good one. Peace.